and sleep with two guys and she can stay the hell out of my life. She's got two kids with one of them and that is disgusting. It's time to end it. I'm sick and tired of the crap. Welcome to the show. My guests today say that their old relationships lacked heat. And they're here because they found someone new and are kicking their old lovers out in the cold. That's true. Please meet, please meet Jennifer. She's here to confront her sister about her two-timing ways. Jennifer, what is going on? Jerry, let me tell you about my slut ho bag of a sister, okay? Yeah. She's living with two guys. One of them is the father of two of her kids. She's been with him for six years. And now she moves in this other guy and she sleeps with both of them. They're both... Losers. Has she always been like this? No, this has all happened within the last year, but like, she what you, enjoys it. What do you think brought it on? Her, um, the whole idea, I think that having two guys in her life makes her feel better about herself. It's just sick. Does, how is the relationship with the, with the guy who's the father of the kids? Well, he does anything she says. She says jump and he's like, how high, honey? You know, like, <laughs> it's disgusting. He has no backbone. So when she said, let's bring another guy in, he, he just said, yeah. Anything to make you happy, honey. How did she meet this other guy? We've known him since we like, were teenagers working in an orchard. The guy's a pervert. Oh, that's why he's on the show. <laughs> OK. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Uh, and have you let your sister know how you feel about this? Multiple times. I'm here to say today to say me or that loser and if you choose that loser I'm out of your life forever here's your sister Denise Baby, as you call that a lot, I got way more than you got, bitch. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be. Learn from you, I would not be saying that. 
You want to do what I got. I want what you got. I got this. I'm happy with this, baby. Yeah, right. That's why you phoned me asking for training? I phoned you. You're phoning me every night crying, honey. I cannot believe you. that needs to make the decision, honey. I'm making it. You're out. Oh, I'm heartbroken. Yeah, you will be. You will be. I've had enough of you! Good. Get out of my life. I've defended you for 26 years! Is it, okay, you're married? Common law. Oh, common okay. So why are you living with two men when you have children? Because she's a whore! Because whore! I'm whore! 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 Okay, whore! all right, all right. Go ahead, why are you living with two men? One of them is the father of my kids. Yes, that's a good reason that you be with him. Who I've known for about six, seven years. Right, but why are you bringing this other guy in? Because I'm in love with him and have been for ten, over 10 years. <laughs> that's what you call love? Do you think you should choose one or the other, but having... I won't choose. Where, where, where did you meet him? At the gym? Pardon me? See, that's cool. There's more to come, believe it or not. Welcome back. If you just joined us, Jennifer and Denise are sisters. And uh, Jennifer is upset because Denise uh, is living with two men. Uh, one of the men is the father of her two children. And the other man, man Denise, just asked to come and visit because you... No, I didn't ask him to come visit Jerry. I asked him to come and see me because I haven't seen him yeah. since I was 15 years old. And I met him when he was working. I was working in an orchard. Yes. And he was basically my supervisor boss. We had instant feelings for each other, but we'd never do anything because he was way older than I was. Yes. And so I was dating him for a while. Well, seeing each other as friends. Yes. Then he had to leave. Okay. So, uh, so you're with Willie because he's the father of your children. Yes. You're with Jim because you care about him. I've always had feelings for Jim. Always had feelings for Jim. All right, let's bring Willie out first. Here's Willie. <laughs> I've been with you six years. We have two children together. I want you to come back to me, not to not punk. He's a boy. He had a small little <laughs> him. He's 46 years old. That's not going to work. I got this, and I got this. You know it because we lay in bed together every, on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and you tell me you love me, not what, that what, boy. What, what, excuse me. I don't want to interfere. You lay together on Tuesdays and Saturdays? That's all like, days. We have I... a schedule in my house. There's a schedule. You, you're there two days a week. We all live in one house. Yes. And he is to sleep with me on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Yes. And Jim gets every other day of the week. And you're agreeing to this? Not no more, Jerry. I'm taking over. Why didn't you bargain for Thursdays? I tried that, too. No. <laughs> Well, 
Kelly, I've loved you for a very long time. Like, for six years, I have two beautiful kids with you. But I will have, I love Jim, and you knew that when, when he moved in. No, no more you're not going to. Well, I'm still going to be with Jim. I love Jim. Well, Stand up for yourself, Willie. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Yeah, we'll see. I told you. When he you. comes out, we'll see who's going to love who now. That Yankee boy's going to learn who I am. Are you still seeing each? I mean, are, oh, so the twice a week you're, you're... Well, isn't that kind of weird? If you don't have feelings for him, then what are you sleeping with him any night of the I week? I do have feelings with, with Will. But only two-sevenths. No, if, no, that's not true. Is there any night off? Like Sunday, neither? If, if I decide that I want more attention from Willie, I will tell Jim I'm going to go be with Willie. And Jim listens to me, because in my house, I do the deciding. It sounds like you're pretty controlling with this. I am controlling. It's my house. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you want to meet him? Oh, I got to meet this guy. Here's a guy five nights a week. Mind you, five nights. Here's Jim. Jim, what you, okay, Jim, what do you think about all of this? I want Willie to move out of the house. <laughs> Knowing that she's going to continue to sleep with him, will you still marry her? No, I won't. Well, it's very tough. It's off. We'll be back. Welcome back. Okay, my guests today say they're fed up with being out of the picture and they're here to get back into focus today. Well, please meet Tom. He says he's not letting his nephew steal his wife away from him. Tom, what is going on? Jerry, all I know is I got a phone call saying I need to get a hold of the Springer show that oh, that's my never nephew's good. supposed yeah. to be messing around with my wife. Yeah. So I called you guys up and here I am. But Jerry, I didn't know that this was going on. It's all a big surprise to me. Okay, so you, how long have you been with your wife? I've been with my wife for six years, six glorious years. I love my wife with all my heart. Yeah, and, w and when did things start going bad? Uh, about, a little bit over about three weeks ago. What happened? She told me to pack my bags and get the hell out. Oh. <laughs> that's usually a sign. Yeah, uh, that's about it. Okay, so now, uh, and did you ask her why? What, what was the problem? 
she won't give me the time of the day. Jerry asked oh. her, I said, you know, let me know what's going on. If we can, you know, take care of this, I'd like to take care of it and resolve it. You know, I, I got a five-year-old daughter, man. I love my daughter. My sure. daughter's my world. I understand. I mean, my wife is my world, man. I'd yeah. give anything for my wife and my daughter. You and know? she's never told you why she kicked you out. No. Nope. And in the meantime, you've heard what stories? Just little things like my nephew's coming over from time to time and spending long periods of time. See, I, I go on the road a lot. You know, I'm out, you know, I'm... I'm an insulator, and I'm constantly out. I do construction yeah. work, and it takes me over the road for long periods of time. Sure. And I don't have time to always come home. I'm I'm an American man. I, you know, I come home, I take care of my bills every now and then, and I'm back out again. You know, I sure. pay my bills, pay my rent, take care of my daughter, do what I have to do. I'm just a man, you know. Yeah. So now all of a sudden you think you're hearing stories that she may be messing around with your nephew. That's true, Jay. That's what I hear. I'm here today to see what the hell's going on. Okay. Well, let's find out. Here is your nephew, Larry. I'm going to bust you in your eye. That's what's I'm up. I'm you. Oh, yeah? Then come and get some. You want some? Come get some. Come oh, on, Come on, That's right. Watch. They never. Come on, my bust. I'm going to bust you in your Is it true? Are you messing around with, with your uncle's wife? Well, yeah, I mean, because, you know, he gets out. But that's your aunt. What are you sleep? You're sleeping with your aunt? Well, yeah, I mean, go like he gets out. He don't, he don't provide for Jerry, you know. He don't treat her good. Whatever's going on in their marriage, you're still sleeping with your aunt. Do you feel a little bad about that? I don't feel bad at all. Can you be feeling bad when you're a snake? Ain't no snake. It's all right. Wait, hey, what is she, when it, this, I'm taking I'm care kicking of your ass, I'm boy. Taking care ain't of enough not. people. I'm you think these boys? Yeah. All right, let's find out. Here is your wife and your aunt Lisa. For the past six years that we've been married, you have been a piece of you know what? You have not taken care of me. You have not taken care of my daughter. When we first met, you couldn't even keep a job. I was married by the justice of the peace at your mom's house because you couldn't give me the marriage that every little girl wants, okay? You are a piece of trash. You might be taking care of the bills now, but you ain't taking care of me, baby. He is. Okay? How am I supposed to do everything when I'm out of town and come be home and do man. this? Be a man. I am Grow a man. Up, what a more man. do you want? I want you to be a real man. What do you want me to do? Quit my job where I'm at now? Come home, start staying home? No, we they don't. give you anything that you want? I'll give you the stars. I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose my daughter. I love you with all my heart. What can I say? Well, you know what? I mean, you're my whole world, man, my whole universe. Okay, and don't you think our daughter deserves better than to see us fight all the time? Yeah. Don't you think that she, it upsets her? She's five years old and she sees us throw things through her each other and, you know, I mean, don't you think that's a bit much for a five-year-old baby? <laughs> Really? It's a little bit too much for me, too. Yeah, and a little bit too much for me. How do you solve that problem by sleeping with him, though? It was a payback. Oh, I see. I okay. hope it hurt his feelings as bad as what he's okay. hurt mine by calling me whore and bitch. Is and... there any hope here, or is this over and you want to be with him? Are you willing to tell your husband, husband goodbye, you won't ever see him again, and that you'll, you'll move in with your with nephew? You, I don't love Larry, and I don't want to be with Larry. It was more sexual than anything. And he made me feel good. After all I've done for you, yeah. after all I've done for you, hey. and you're gonna set up here and say Grace. that. Larry Loser, Larry Loser, Larry Loser. Oh, hell with you, you guys. You guys don't know nothing. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I think you guys love so much. Why don't you guys come up here and tell your story on stage? How the hell can you do that? How the hell can you do that? I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Come on. Tell me, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. You going home with me tonight? If you're willing to work on, I'm trying to I'll work on work on anything out. it takes. You're going to have to start. But first of all, I want to get him out of my way. Yeah! We'll be back. Welcome back, 
My guests today say they can't juggle their secret relationships any longer. Please meet Troy. He says he feels like his girlfriend has left him in the dark. Troy, what's going on? I oh, ain't too much, Jerry. I came on the show, you know, because um, Misery brought me on the show because she had a surprise. Misery? Me. Misery's your girlfriend? Yes. I see. Mm-hmm. And uh, she brought me on the show because she claims she had a surprise for me and, you know, and things. How long you known Misery? About eight months now. Eight months? Mm-hmm. Off and on. And how'd you meet? Uh, we met at a bar, a nightclub. And then you've been seeing each other now off and on for eight months or yeah. solid eight months? About off and on. What do you like even. best about Misery? Uh, she got a big butt. You know, I, I like the butt up. I like the butt up. I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real funny. <laughs> Can't wait to see her. All right. Let's, <laughs> you want to bring her out? Here's Misery. That's a lot of misery. <laughs> okay, uh, misery, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jerry. How are okay. you? Okay. And you two met eight months ago? Yeah, about eight months. And uh, did he approach you or you approached him? Kind of like a mixed thing. Yeah. And you said, come over to my place because misery likes company. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, Jerry. <laughs> I've been waiting to use that for show after show, but no one ever comes. <laughs> no one ever comes on named Misery. Okay, uh, and nice guy, huh? He's very nice. I like him a lot. Yeah, and he said the same of you. What do you want to tell him? Well, I am a prostitute. <laughs> I also have my own escort service. What? Yeah. You know, I, I got to make money. You give me a lot of money, but, you know, I have a high maintenance of living, and I got to support me. Damn. <laughs> no. What up? First, is you guys up that I am a prostitute? I mean, hey, you know, I can live with that. <laughs> I can live with that. You know what I mean, you know? Yeah, no problem. So you cool with that? I'm man. cool with that part. You could have been told me you had to no, bring me on national TV for truthfully, that. Truthfully, I wasn't gonna stop doing my business, you know, if you wasn't gonna be with me. Okay. That's why I'm bringing you on the stress issues now. Okay, I feel you on that. I can handle that one. And the second one is, you know how you always be telling me why we can't go out during the day and stuff like that and everything? Well, you know, I'm really, I'm a man. <laughs> Wait, hold up, what is y'all laughing at? Hold up, Troy, Troy. What? What, what is the problem? Prove what, that I am really a man? You ain't saying nothing, but who doubting it? You doubting it, boo? What the fellas that's doubting it? Come here, come here. All this time you man. Come here, come here. Come on, man. Come here. Listen. No, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. Listen. It's like this, Troy. I'm feeling you. Without no doubt. But, and I'm, I'm bringing you here to tell you the truth. You know? So you bring me on national TV tell me some bull like this, huh? <laughs> Wait, what is y'all doing? Oh, why bring me on national TV for this? It wasn't about bringing you on national TV. I'm doing it because, I mean, I could have just called and left it on your answering service. Why didn't you? Because I didn't want to. I wanted to look in your face. Yeah, you see it. I'm come here, it Troy, Troy. I get on my knees. No, no, come on. Troy, huh? I get on my knees. What I got to do to prove it? Anything you want me to do, I don't get on before. my knees for nobody, boo. You know me. You've been knowing me. You know my life. You know how I move. You just didn't know I was a man at first. Now you know. How, uh, Nipsey, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, 
Troy. Uh, how? Honestly, how would you not know? What you mean? How would he not know? No, I, oh, look, most, you, most of the time, most of the time, Jerry, most of the time that I was with him, him, him. Now I'm a him. You most ain't say that last night. <laughs> now I'm a him. Oh, Come on, boo, don't disrespect me. No, I mean, me. if you're having intimacy, uh, have you been intimate? Only all set. Only all was it good? You was like saying ma and what? <laughs> only all so what? You was loving every bit of it, Bible. <laughs> why wouldn't you tell? Why wouldn't you tell Troy going in saying, going in is an expression? But I mean, <laughs> why wouldn't you just say to Troy before you ever started any kind of kissing or anything? Because I really liked it, though. You know, I usually don't care about dudes. Yeah. In my service and stuff that I do, yeah. is if they know, they know. If they don't, they don't. Yeah, but if, but here you cared about uh, Troy, so wouldn't maybe Troy doesn't want to be with a man. That's fair for him yeah. to make that but decision. But listen, we've been together for eight months. I mean, <laughs> could let me know. <laughs> something, I mean, you can pull my coat to something, you know? But Troy, come on, boo. Come, come on, on, boo. Boo my ass, man. Come on now. Come on now. That's not right. It's not, not like I was trying to fool. If I was really I mean, trying to fool. I mean, but now I see why it was only a nighttime time thing, you know? <laughs> see? But if it wasn't like, listen, Trey, Trey, <sighs> if I didn't care about you, I wouldn't even have told you now to just kept getting your little coins and whatnot. Yeah. I'd have kept getting you to buy me everything. You know what I mean? But I'm trying to tell you because I'm feeling you. Either you're going to work with me, you know, and stuff. Furthermore, I'm not going to let you go. So, you know... Troy, what's the, what, what's the decision here? You're gonna, what's your reaction? You're going you're gonna to stay with Misery or leave? I'm leaving. You know leaving. you're not. No, I'm leaving. No, we'll be not. back. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome back. Hey, my guests today say they feel like a demolition machine destroyed their relationship. Please meet Lala. She says she's here to get rid of an interfering lover. Lala, what is going on? Hi, Jerry. Hi. I am a pissed off lesbian. <laughs> Girlfriend's ex that she needs to step off. Sorry, on. I didn't hear what you said. I'm here to tell my girlfriend's oh. ex that she needs to step <laughs> off and that she doesn't want her anymore. And Nikki's with me. Oh. Me and Nikki have been together for the last six months. We love each other to death. I love her. She loves me. She has a daughter. You know, her, she calls me mommy and everything. Yeah. And Tisha just needs to understand that Nikki doesn't want her anymore. How long has Tisha be, uh, had Tisha been going with her? Like a year. Okay, there were a year. But then she left Tisha and, she, and she's with you. Right. And she doesn't want Tisha in the picture no, either? No, but not at all. What does Tisha do? She keeps calling? Yeah, she, keeps... she goes up to her job. She calls the house, fakes asthma attacks, thinking Nikki's going to come over there. Oh. Nikki doesn't do anything but stay home with me. I see. Okay, I'll let you tell Tisha that. Okay. All right, here she is, Tisha. <laughs> She going home with me. Oh, really? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Boo boo. <laughs> Tisha, why did you? Why did you and uh, Nikki break up? We broke up. We we didn't even break up. Okay. First of all. Okay. We took some time apart because yeah. I was working so hard and I wasn't there that much. You was a stripping bitch. That's what you were. It don't matter what I was, cause I was taking care of Nikki. I was taking care of Nikki when I stripped. Nikki taking care of Nikki. me now. You must not want too much. You must not want oh, really? too much. Oh, really? That's all that is. Nikki get everything but I want, boo boo. <laughs> everything I want. She can't be getting too much. Really? <laughs> How much Nikki make? It don't matter. <laughs> okay. Whatever she make, I but get. But anyway, when I was stripping. Matter of fact, when you give her money, she give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> we gonna see when Nikki get out of here. Okay. But um, when I was stripping, I was taking care of Nikki. Right. And now she's talking about Nikki take care of her, so you sitting on your ass every day? You right. 
I sure do. <laughs> Take care of her little girl like she was mine. She calls me mommy. She no, ever call you no, mommy? Yes, she called me mommy. She called you mommy? mommy? Yes, yeah, she called me mommy. I bet she won't call you mommy no more. I bet she won't call you mommy no more. You mommy no more. What? 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 We'll see. We'll see. You just temporary. That's all that is. Oh, Let's bring her out. Here's Nikki. What? 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 Nah. Kiss her again. Kiss her again. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying me. Hmm. But yet you love me though, Nikki. You love me. You love me. That's what you want. That's what you want. You love her, Nikki? No. <laughs> you don't love me, Nikki? Who you love, Nikki? <laughs> I can't believe it. You brought me all the way out here to tell me this. <laughs> all the way here to tell you she don't want you, baby. She don't want you. Did she ever tell you that before that she didn't want you? No, she never told me Why that. When we lie? break up, we didn't even break up. She just moved out. If she wanted to, it to be like, you just temporary. That's well, all it is. That you. was a rebound thing. That was a rebound thing. That's all that was. Good rebound. Did you Good ever... Good rebound, boo. Did you not tell her that you no longer had feelings for her? Or what did you tell her? Nothing. So she had reason to believe that you two were still had a chance? Well, she didn't know it's a problem. She's stripping. She knows. I, I was trying to take care she of you. No, I didn't like that. I was trying so. to take care of you. I could have sat on my ass if that's what you wanted. If you wanted somebody to just sit on, sit down all day and not do well, anything. Well, you know I was tired and I was willing to work if you would have stopped stripping. I don't even want to hear that because you, you lying. You know you lying. Well, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I, I came yeah. here for one reason. Yes. And that was just to propose to Lava. What? You want to do what? What? <laughs> you want to? That's okay. You temporary. You got the she dumb dumb face. Nah, don't she don't proposed to me. You got the dumb dumb face. She proposed to me too. But so I it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Propose. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. 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 Nikki, don't do this. Don't do this. La la, we marry me. I sure will, boo. What do you want to say? Stay out my life. It's over. Please stop calling my job. It's over. Bye. Bye bye. It's over. It's well, been I don't over. see why you so happy. You don't think she didn't propose to me? We didn't been through all of this too. It don't matter. Nikki, I love you. Nikki. I don't want that Look anymore. Look at her. How you stripping like that, boo? <laughs> <laughs> How you stripping That's like okay, that? Though. Turn around. Let me see your booty. That's okay, though. Let I'm well paid. What's I'm well What's paid, that? though. I'm What's well that? paid. What's that? And what you do? Nothing. What you do? We'll be back. What you do? <laughs> for the lady in the, in the um, black panties. Do not do your sister like that. That's not cool to do your sister like that. And when is the last time you seen your, when is the last time you seen your vagina? What do you like to know? Hey, this is for the sun and the moon sisters. Hey. You wanna see some more, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, right, this is for the sun and the moon, sisters. So guy who do it uh, Tuesday and Saturday, who milk the rest of the cow through the rest of the week. Hey, Troy, you need to see if she got a pimp. If she don't, maybe you get part of your money back. <laughs> he. In your dreams. Yeah, I got a comment for uh, Pimp Daddy Woo Woo back there. 
that is either the ugliest woman that I've ever seen in my life or the prettiest monster I've ever you seen in my nerve. life. You have nerve. You have nerve. What you say about you The only thing you're doing is scaring everybody up here, okay? So you need to go back. Your pimp license took. <laughs> oh. I don't have a comment for someone up on the stage, but I do got a comment for you. You need to pull them thongs up because you ain't got no ass. <laughs> If you gonna have on a thong, baby, you ain't even supposed to see that part. You only supposed to see. You got no ass at all, baby. Okay. Okay. Question for the two big girls on stage. Instead of fighting for your men, don't you think you should be fighting for your clothes? I ain't fighting for no men. I am fighting for like a proper life for my clothes. Um, I got a question for the big and tall RuPaul. Um, <laughs> what? What? Fight How are you gonna keep your pimp? How are you gonna keep your pimp? How are you gonna keep your pimp? I wanna fight I'm sorry, I'm, I'm only for ladies. I can pimp you, mine. dude. Girl, I you're twice you. the size of me. It's Look at you. Yeah, yeah, you got That's it. it. That's, it. it. That's, it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, but you're much bigger than yours. I'll be back with a final thought. Thank you. Let me take this opportunity to thank all of you for being with us, and I hope you can work out your relationships and find some happiness. Good luck to you. You know, let's agree, love triangles are always trouble. Somebody's going to be hurt, eventually everyone. So the trick is how to avoid them in the first place. Look, it's easy to say, if you're with one person, don't be messing with anybody else. But how does it get to that? You're with one person, you meet another, or perhaps you've known this other, but suddenly you're having feelings towards him or her. At what point do you tell your partner that your eye or heart is starting to wander? Obviously, it depends in part on how deep your current relationship is. Is it a marriage, someone you have kids with, someone you've been dating exclusively for a long time, or just a recent bonding? Now, understandably, when you reveal your potential here for infidelity depends in large measure on the depth of your current relationship. But whatever depth, this rule must be clear. If you've been having an exclusive relationship with someone, or your partner has every reason to believe that it is exclusive, you don't sleep with someone else until you tell your partner you're moving on. The truth is, there's no good way to get out of a love triangle. Not getting into one is the only remedy. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>
Jackie Gleason stance? What do you call that stance? Where'd you learn that from? I don't really fight. We're, now throw a punch. Throw a punch into the camera for our audience. <laughs> That's pretty good. So. I don't fight. <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. show have you ever been torn between two people and felt like you were being forced to choose ooh. a very good ooh <laughs> well my guests today say they're tired of the runaround and they want answers they're furious with their lovers and they're here to face off yeah! okay please meet Carl Carl says he wasn't getting enough affection from his lover so <laughs> so he started sleeping with his lover's sworn enemy. <laughs> Carl, what's going on? How long you been with your girlfriend? Well, I've been with her for four years, Jerry. Wow. Yeah, for four years. You know, we've been, for the past two and a half to three years, I mean, we've been having a lot of problems, Jerry. I mean, she's not understanding no more. She don't trust me. She don't believe nothing I say or nothing like that. So well, I've she been... has reason not to trust you, right? You're sleeping with her best friend. Well, or... well, Jerry, well, listen. Well, well listen, y'all understand. Well, you know what I'm saying? What? She don't trust me no way. I mean, we've been together for four years, like yes. I said, and for the past two and a half, three years, we've been having a lot of problems. I mean, yeah. she don't trust me. She's not understanding. You know, okay, she don't yeah. believe nothing I say. So I cheated on her. You know, I've been cheating on her. Oh. Oh, yeah. And That's the right. person you're cheating with is, is her enemy? They yeah. used to be friends, right? Yeah, they used to be friends. They used to be roommates. They used to be best friends, as a matter oh. of fact. Yeah. And then wh 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 why did you wind up with her? How'd that happen? Well, you know, she was there for me at the time. You know, we were having problems and everything. Yeah. You know what and she was a good shoulder to call. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good shoulder. Very, very good shoulder. Very so good you shoulder. put your head on her shoulder. Oh, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then where'd you put your head? <laughs> But y'all listen, y'all listen, y'all gotta y'all gotta understand, though. Y'all gotta understand, you know what I'm saying? I love Sean, you know what I'm saying? I love my girl, you, you know what I'm saying? Her. Yeah, I do, I really do. I really do love her, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like she's not honest with me. Well, you she... can talk to her. You tell her what's going on. She doesn't know that you're cheating on her. Oh no, she don't know. Oh. Oh. Here is Sean. Hi, Sean. How you doing? Hi. You guys have been together, what did he tell me, four years? Uh-huh. You have children together, right? Uh-huh. How many? Three. Three children. Yep. Do you love him? Yes. We have three beautiful kids together, like yeah. I say. He was my first love. I mean, oh. our relationships have our up and down, but I think we got a pretty good relationship. Good. Good. What do you want to say? Gosh, what a lovely lady, huh? Well, Sean, you know I love you. You know we do have three beautiful children. You know we have our ups and downs in our relationship. Oh, but uh, man, man. today, you know I brought you on the Jerry Springer show to let you know that I've been cheating on you. What? That's right. That's right. No. How the hell are you gonna cheat on me? What you mean, how the hell I'm gonna cheat on you for the last two and a half to three years? You know what I'm saying? You ain't been trusting me. You ain't honest with me. You, you ain't don't believe me, nothing. You ain't gave me no reason to trust you. What you mean I gave you no you reason? Ain't me no you don't never give me a chance. First of all, you're not even honest with me. You don't even trust me, you know what I'm saying? You don't believe nothing I say, you know what I'm saying? Can you give me a reason to trust you? Every time I try to, you know what I'm saying? It's always... I can't tell every time I turn around, you up, tell me I'm going to the store. And when you go to the store, oh, it take you four or five hours to go to the store. With well, how, I mean, we how got three far away kids is that together. Stove? <laughs> Why don't no, you... I got to call okay, you to come pick them up. Okay, hold on. And then you ain't never got to call me to okay, do what nothing do you want... for my children. You already know that. Who have you been cheating with? 
talk to you. Yeah. Who is she? Keisha. All right. You'll be on the streets when we get home. Here is. Oh, I got some. Here's to go, Keisha. Baby. You should tell me what's going on here. You know that they're together? Yeah. So how did you wind up sleeping with him? Oh, me and her fell out about a year ago, so I started messing around with him. It was all good. Okay. Why would Fool you... Fool yourself. If... Yeah. Carl, do you feel, feel a little bit guilty here? You have no. four years, Absolutely three not. children. Absolutely no. not. You You've don't been mind doing it? the same thing to me behind my back. Is that, is that true? Have you been it's sleeping behind my head? We get into an argument, right? You know what I'm saying? I take care of my responsibility. I always take care of my responsibility. We take she care put of me on child support, you know what I'm saying? Why are we together? I'm on child support, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all right, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm good. Good. I'm good. That's good. Take care of his kids, what she going to do that for? Cause he's sorry. He okay. Is, he are you finished with him? I gotta end this. Are you finished with him? Hell yeah, I'm through with both of them. Try to <laughs> That's what I tell you. And you know that. You was a lie. I tell you, don't call me. Don't and you know that. Don't say that you're not on the Jerry Springer show. Oh. Oh. My guests today say they're tired of their deceiving ways and they're here to come clean. Please meet Quincy. Quincy says his relationship is nothing but blue skies in his eyes. Uh, tell us about your relationship. Tell us about your relationship. Well, my relationship is great. I don't see nothing wrong with it. The moment I'm with now, we've been together three years. Yes. And I love her to death. Yeah. See, I'm carrying my baby. We're supposed to get married in December. Oh, she's pregnant with your baby? Mm hmm well, Good for you. And you're getting married when? December. December. Well, good for you. And you love her? I love her to death. Great. <laughs> Every once in a while, we hear something nice on the show. Um, okay. Well, uh, you know you're here to hear something. Um, here is, you have a best friend, I'm told, uh, Zante. You've been friends with him for how long? 18 years. 18 years. Wow. So you grew up together, childhood friends, yeah. the whole bit. Okay, here's your best friend, Zante. What's up, dear? Zante, welcome to the show. 18 years. I mean, you guys must have lived in this next door to each other or something. I mean, you all know, through dear, school? I've been knowing Quinn for 18 years. Yeah. I mean, I've been out there, you know, so. Yeah, it's a good friend. Okay, well, you're here to, to what do you want to tell him? Quincy, know we've been friends for 18 years, right? So I'm here to let you know I've been sleeping with him for two months. You been, oh, you been what? I've been sleeping with him for two months. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Two months, you know what I'm saying? Have a seat. You've been sleeping with his fiance? I ain't, Jerry, I ain't know. Hey, you supposed to man. Hey, let me we've tell been, you something, man. Hey. We've been bored for too long. You gonna, you gonna do me? You gonna play me like this, man? You all on her back like, like a monkey, man. I wanna know what's man. going on. Like a if, monkey. If it's mine, I mean, get, I feel get, like something ain't right. Girl, I'm gonna girl, so, Get a girl some room and talk. Okay. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Yeah, bring her on that. Okay, we, but, we gonna see who she going home with. She going home with me? I bet she ain't. Why would you do that to your best friend, though? Seriously. I bumped into her. So we just started talking. I had a few little drink. Let's see. So I asked her. I, 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 I asked her. So I asked her if she need a ride. Couple of drinks. Okay. I asked, did she need a ride home? She said, yeah. So I took all her friend home. You supposed to be my boy. You ain't so, supposed to look at that. that well, let's bring her out. Here's Emma. Here's Emma. What? 
are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, question me? Who is that? If I feel like something, what's your mind? If I feel like something, what's your mind? 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 What's your you're pregnant, right? Yes, I'm pregnant. Okay, so first of all, just be careful, okay? I don't okay. want you to get hurt. Okay. So, okay. so, you love him three years together? You're having a child with him? Why sleep with his best friend? I mean, Quincy do not treat me right. You don't do nothing but sit at home on your butt all what day. You, what you me, I man? take care of you. I, I, I give you what, what you, you want about? and what you need. Relax, relax, relax. Yeah. Quincy, I give you what you want and what you need. I give you what you want and what you need. I put uh, clothes on your what back. What has he you done? Put I put a roof, on, I put roof over your head. I put a roof over your head. And I don't work. What, what's five feet down? Why? Okay. Why? Okay. Why are you angry at him? You're the one that cheated on him. Why are you angry? Yeah. Why, First what, of all, why are you upset with it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know what Quincy doing. People call Quincy. How am I supposed to know? Yeah, but uh, is that true? Do you do you play around and with her? His, I don't play all around. His people his call me, but she know who they is. My ex-girlfriends call him. He sat there and talked to him. My ex-girlfriend called me, and when I when they call, what I tell them? I tell them to leave me alone. You are not. I tell them don't call. That's what I tell them. And you know that. You are a lie. I tell them don't call me. Don't you know that. Oh. Okay, that's the one place you don't want to be lying. All right. What's gonna happen? I gotta wrap this up. Are you are you gonna stay with him or are you gonna try to fix this? No, she's going home with me. I Let's hear. Go home with me, you want to go I home with him? We got to get wheels for these chairs. Okay. All right. Okay. So you still love him. You want to yes, get Yes, I love Quincy to death. Then tell love him. Then say that to him. Dante, Shh. I don't want to be with you. Okay? You know I want to be with Quincy. You know what? I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to put it like this. You can be with him. I just be single by myself. It's put all like good. This. It's all good. Same. It's all good. It's st we still It's all good. Oh. It's all good. Do you think this friendship can be... No. No, man. I don't want nothing to do with him. You yeah. suck. Hey, man. Hey, man. Go away. Go my way. So you basically were sleeping with him because you were angry at him for not paying enough attention. Right. I mean, I done had the feeling that he done been cheating on me and all this, you know. Yeah. But I do, I, I do love okay. Quincy. I, I do, for real. I love Quincy. Okay, you Just have her like name tattooed on, you know? on the arm. Okay. So you two are going to try to make it work. If I didn't want to be with her, I wouldn't have did that. Okay. I'd be out there with somebody else. So you two are going to try to make it work. Yes. And you understand that. Okay. We'll be back. say they're ready to fess up to their cheating ways and come clean to their unsuspecting lovers. Please meet Nikki. Now she says she's five months pregnant by another woman's man. Oh. Nikki, what's going on? Well, first of all, I've been with this man for seven months. Yes. He, ch he lives with me. We're having a baby together. And he has another girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> but the thing about it is, I mean, we're going to raise this baby together. He promised me that we was going to do all How this together. How long has he been with this other woman? I don't know, about a year and a half. Oh, so it's two. a long-term relationship. But they're broke up. They're broke up. I mean, he chose to come to me. Yeah. And, I mean, if he didn't want to be with me, we wouldn't be having a baby together. Who's he living with now? He lives with me. Oh. 
so you're basically here to confront this other woman? Yes. Does yes. he tell I you that he to wants her to, to mind her business? She needs to mind her business. She chose to let him go. She All chose right. to let him go, not me. There's Janelle. Okay, have a seat. You know have what? He lives with you. Have a seat. I don't care if he lives with you. Don't try it. I'm here. Have a seat. Have a seat. Sit down. He's still mommy and Okay, how long have you been with him? About a year, year and a half. Did you know that he was sleeping with her? I just found out he was sleeping with oh, her. You're a liar. Why you're you? a liar. You're a liar. Okay, why would you stay with him if he's that unfaithful to you? Because I love him. Oh. Because oh. I've done everything okay. for my man. Obviously, he I loves me or he wouldn't be having a baby with no. me. Maybe what? he's he only lives because with me. I'm working Janelle, Janelle, Janelle he lives with me. Because he I'm working me. my life away for him. Because you're stupid. Because you're stupid. Him. You're the one that's stupid. I, you're why you want to be with a man? You're working for me because you want to be with a man. Not you. I'm working for your He is my man and he'll Benjamin. always be. I got what he you want and that's what you're mad about. Oh, that's what you're oh, mad about. He's gonna want that over this? You gotta this? know I got what you want. He's gonna want that over I, this? I don't think so. Obviously he's Look having a baby with me. Look what I he's got. And so is, maybe I don't want a child mother? at this point in time. Where does the maybe mother? I want to be able where to suck my life. Where does he live? He don't live with you. Maybe I want to suck my life up before I have a child. Janelle, he's not your man. He's not your man. Devon, what's going on? You've been living with her for a year and a half. You got her pregnant. What's going on? Yeah, um... I'm saying... I'm saying... No, 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 And you act stupid too. You chose to let him go. That's why he lives with me. Not you chose to let him go. You chose okay. that. Everyone, be quiet. Just for a second. I want to talk to you. Just, everyone else, be quiet. Here's what I want to know. You, you're wondering, you're saying in their words, they're being stupid. But the fact is, while you're with her, you're making her pregnant. Of course <laughs> she's going to have feelings if you've made her pregnant. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're okay. right. So, you're right. But you're saying, even though you made her pregnant, and I assume you'll take responsibility yes, for the child, yes, yes, you, yes, still yes. Love, you still love her? Yes, I love her to death. Well, who do you want to be with? How are you going to say you love me to death when you're with her? How are you going to you know say you love me to death when you're with her? Listen, 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 no, you listen, listen, no, listen, 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 can I talk? Thank you very much. I care about you. I care about you. Yes, yes, I care about you. I care about you. Okay, I care about the baby you carry. Yes, I'm gonna be there. Yes, I gotta hear my responsibility. But I cannot be with you because I will be miserable because I don't love you. Uh, but that's what you didn't tell me that the other night. You didn't tell me that the other night when you let me tell me. You told me you wanted to be a family and that you love me. Tell me you didn't say it. How you gonna do that? How you gonna say that? Tell me you didn't say it. Tell me that you didn't say it. No, I'm not lying. How you gonna do that? Don't you gonna do that? How are you gonna do that? How you gonna sleep with me? You sleep with me last night and then want to be a family with her? I never told I love you, her. You, you got to prove to me. I never told I love her. All right, now I say I got to end this. 
He is saying, though, despite the fact that he admits what I assume what you admit what you've done is wrong. Yes, yes, okay. I made, yes, I was he wrong. He says, yes. despite yes. that, I was a dog, whatever y'all want to be with you. Me. Yeah, well, whatever. You're a dog. You know yeah. you're a dog. Yeah, I was okay. a dog for doing that. Yeah, I was a okay. dog. Hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. Because well, I got to end this. Will you accept him back? He's got to prove to me that he can be prove with me. Prove to you that he's going to be with me. We'll be back. are here to say they are tired of their love is unfaithful ways. Please meet Paula. Paula says she's ready to tell her boyfriend's other lover to step off. Yeah. What's what's going on? Well, I'm gonna let you know what's going on, Jerry. You know, I've been with I've been seeing this guy Jose for almost three months. Yes. You know, I love him dearly. I'll do anything for him. You know, and I just I'm just I just want this other to step off. <laughs> Uh, how long has she been with him? Well, I don't know, but all I know is that she's known him for about eight months. Okay. So, and does he admit to being with both of you? I mean, this is, you both, everyone knows what's going on here, right? Yes. What does he tell you about her? That he don't want to be with her. Then why, okay, then why do you think he is? I don't know. Well, well okay, let's bring her out. Here is Amy. First, it don't I matter. I don't care. But you want to know something? Care. I love him. Okay, I love him too. I love him. Just but you know what? I have. I'm gonna I, I can give him love. It don't care. I don't I care. I can give him love. But who's what there you for give him? Three hundred dollar paycheck. Him? No. I'm paycheck. sorry. The money that he I'm had sorry. last what two nights ago? He was spending on you. Was from me. I don't care. Was from me. But you want to know something? Who cares? The money was from me. It don't it matter. You. But you want to know something? I can give him whatever he needs, Amy. And you want to know something? With $300. I thought you were a friend, Amy. You know what? You were my friend too, Paula. I know I was. Okay, but, but you know what? Know something? I can't have this no more. And I told you when you first came in, when you first started coming around here, don't get attached. You're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get hurt. Let's meet him. Here's Jose. Oh. <laughs> Fine, welcome to the show. What's... Okay, Jose, uh... What, who you, uh, what's going on? You're with both women, right? Yeah. Who were you with first? Uh, Amy. You were with Amy first? Yeah. And, and then, what, then how'd you wind up? With Paula? Paula here, yes. Well, basically, um, I, see, yeah. I end up with her after I stopped messing around with Amy. Yeah. And I met her at my house, because a friend of mine took her to my house so to introduce us, so that's how I met her, at my house. And you like her? Yeah. <laughs> and, and But you've continued to see uh, Amy. Amy here? Yeah. You've seen them both. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you slept with Amy? Ooh, let me see, I think it was two nights ago. Two nights ago. <laughs> when was the last night, when was the last time you slept with Paula? Don't lie. No, hold on. No, not last night. <laughs> that was like um three or four days. Three, four days. So. Yeah. To be exact, Jerry, it was the fifteenth of um October. That fifth. Oh. And what a nice day of the week that was. <laughs> so uh, well. What do you do? What What do you want to say to her? What do I want to say to her? Talk to both of them. I'm out of the picture. You better talk to them, because... Tell me, Jose. One of them may show up at your house again. Gonna you're going to have to make a choice. For real. Like, today, because like you now. Because you can't have us both, and you're not going to have us both. Nope. <laughs> Look, did I say I want both of y'all? Did you I say that? You don't have to say it, because you're showing it. Yep. 
I don't know what am I going to do. Well, you know what? How, how am I going to make Why this? don't you just make a list of their good points, their bad points? No. Okay. How am I going to make a decision when, okay, when I go out with her, I have fun and everything. She's yeah. cool. She's patient, you know. Yeah. When I go out with her, I have fun with her, but she don't got no patience at all. Oh. And they're both, they're both always <laughs> arguing. What's, what's a guy to do? <laughs> well, okay. Uh, do you have feelings for either of them? I I'm, care about both of them. You care about both? Yeah, in different ways. In different ways. In different ways. Who, do you, who are you in love with? I mean, who, who are you romantic about? Both. <laughs> Okay, if both of them are drowning, who would you say? Jerry, 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 Jerry. All good. They're both scared. Hey, help me, help me. Who are you going to reach for? You don't know. You let them both drown. You guys better wear life preservers. I'd call me crazy. Okay. Okay. First, talk to her. You look at Paula. Talk to Paula. Tell her what's in your heart, and then you'll talk to Amy. First, talk to Paula. I'm not here. It's just you two. What do I want? I wish. <laughs> Say, if I got to make a choice or a decision or whatever, I'll stay alone. I'll stay alone. We'll be back. Today, say they're ready to put a stop to their interfering exes. Please meet Jennifer. Jennifer says she's never been happier with a new boyfriend. She says she's ready to put a foot down and tell his ex to back off. Whoa. So you're with a guy. How long have you been with this guy now? Uh, we've been together for a few months now. And how Haven't... long has, was he with his ex? About five years. Oh, five so they had a so. long-term relationship. Yeah. But now he's with you. Yes, he's with me because I treat him a lot better, Jerry. Yeah. I know how to treat a man, and she does it. And she needs to understand that it's me and him now. She needs to back off. And she's, how does she interfere? She's calling me, leaving threatening messages on my machine, oh. and telling me, you know, that she belongs with him. And yeah. I said, well, if you belong with him, he'd be taking you to Vegas, not me. Oh. I understand. How, how was Vegas? Oh, it was wonderful. You had a good time? Yes. Win any money? Yeah, I did. I hit the jackpot. Oh, Jessica good. <laughs> okay. Drinks for everybody on her. Yeah. <laughs> well. Okay, well, anyway, you want to tell the ex to back off. Yeah, I got to tell Tammy. She needs to understand it today. Today? He's coming home with me. Okay, here's Tammy. <laughs> You think? He's mine. No baby. girlfriend. He's mine. Look here. Look here. See? What? Well, look at here. Yeah, we're talking about. We oh, let's have another Whatever. law. Whatever. Whatever. We'll see. That's my house, girlfriend. It's not That's anymore. That's my bed you're sleeping in. That's my phone. Threatening messages? We'll see. It's not the right message. My you ain't seen why you why, did you two, why did you two break up? Me and Ron have had disputes off and on yeah. because of little things like this who keep interfering in our relationship. It's the truth. And this ain't the first time she stepped in that house. It ain't oh. the first time. And it won't be the last. The heck so get with the Let's find out. Not the last. Not Here's Ron. I invite you there. Jennifer. 
That's my lipstick on okay, the shoe. Yeah. Ron, are uh, you a very wealthy guy? Yes, he is. No. She's a user, that's why she's there. Okay. Oh, well, you're a loser, that's why you're not. <laughs> Hello? I'm a loser, I'm going back. So wait a second, Stay both of you are fighting over up. good old Ron here. Uh, <laughs> Ron, you've been with her for five years, right? Right? A little over four. A little over four. Okay, Ron, uh, why are you then, why did it break up? Why, why have you wound up here with Tammy? Yeah, Ron. Well, I mean, with Jennifer, excuse me. Why are you now sleeping with Jennifer? <laughs> well. Man, before this? Because... How many times? Uh, Jennifer just uh, showed up. I mean, I ran uh -huh. into her in a bar. <laughs> and I knew she was... Okay. I knew she was a friend of Tammy's. Yes, she and was. And so I knew time. how to make Tammy jealous is if I could get Jennifer oh, to yeah. come with me. <laughs> and then... Jennifer, you... Uh, Jennifer, you... <laughs> I'm sorry. Tammy, you want to be with him, though, Tammy, right? Tammy, honey. You're Tammy. Excuse me. Jennifer, <laughs> okay. you, want to be, you want to be with him. Yeah, I do. Because I didn't think he would be, you know, so exciting and so wonderful. I, I thought Auntie oh, Jerry please. was going to be a one-night stand, but oh. it's just one-night stand it's that's really... still standing. One You're night still stand. standing. Okay, but... Jerry, but... she's got a one-night stand off and on. She comes in every time one of us is weeded out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I You're think, like a slippery I think we just snake. caught Ron on a weeding. <laughs> uh, the, uh... Ron looks a little. Ron looks a little bit weeded. <laughs> uh, okay, but uh, wait a second. You want Ron, but isn't there someone in your life? Right. Yes, there is. I Does he know that too. you're messing with Ron? I have a pretty good idea. Come here, honey. Well, here he is. Here's Kevin. <laughs> no. You can't have him. He don't She's want mine. her. Uh -uh. The one's cutting my tires. Uh -uh. Don't touch him. She's the one who's saying it. Come on, sit down. You even told me yourself he wanted me back. Okay, let's get Ron a longer shirt. <laughs> Kevin, you just told her to say she wanted him. You know that Kev Ron told that you he true. wants me back. That's not true. You don't want him. You're uh, my woman. Kevin? <laughs> He's snorkeling. So, so, Kevin, how long have you been here with, uh, with Jennifer? Four years. Four years? Yeah. Do you, and you knew that she was messing around with Ron? I found out about it. What yeah. do you want to say to her? You got to stop. It's you ending. You're coming back with me. You're the one who told her to stay with me. Kevin, yes, you, you did. had your chance. You had your chance. You better go back, girl. You've been promising me and promising me and promising me. I don't have to wait for promises anymore. Oh, you don't, huh? <laughs> Whatever. Well, you, come with me. You had your chance. I took it last night, too. Uh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Well, Ron, who do you want to be with? Yeah, Ron. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't play it now. He's a child. You want to be with... Oh. Get off me. Get off me. What's it going to be, Ron? Right now, Monopoly game's over, buddy. Life game has begun. Yeah. Right here! Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. Why'd you touch her hand for? What up with that? What up? Can't you do no better when you kick me to the curb? Hey, what up? You think you're gonna take something like that and make me jealous? question for Jose. You've gotten laid twice in the last four nights and you want to be alone? What's up with that? <laughs> Yo, a man, a man doesn't need a woman, you know. You what? A man doesn't need a woman. No, what, what do you do? What are you going to rent a video? What are you doing? Hey, that's why you got your five fingers for. Oh, you find another one. Question for Ghetto Han is right there. Ghetto. Can she find another man other than her man to be with? Nah, we used to be friends. We not friends no more. So what? Ghetto. But you knew and that was what? her man. And but you knew that was her what? man. If it was and me, I'd have pulled so all what? the hair out of your head. Don't take, don't take back with 
the uh, purple dress on that's pregnant? I think yeah. it's a very attractive maternity dress, but I think the two men that you've been with, you should really grow up and find somebody a little bit older, honey. Oh. a comment for all the ladies up there. You should really think about going to a career of prostitution because at least they get paid for being dirty whores. I know he wasn't talking about me. This is also he for the uh, lady in the purple. I know he wasn't talking about me. Um, you said you were going to go back with him, but you guys had shaken hands and said that it was still going to go on when you got back to where you were from. Are you, are you still going to see him or are you going to... Stay with your. I'm uh, staying with Quinn. Right. Actually, this is for the lady in the purple. Also, you are a beautiful lady, and with you being pregnant, I hope you get rid of some of that anger before your baby's born. You are like mad at the world. You know what? It's people like you who we got to keep our enemies closer than our friends. And girl, take care of business when you get home with your kids and forget him. Okay. She's still gonna be with All right, I have a question for him. What's his name? Ron. 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 Okay. Um, you said that Rocco. <laughs> <laughs> she said that you had a lot of money, right? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. Well, I was just wondering if you did, why you can't buy both your women some breast implants and some maybe some good facial makeup. This is for Paula. This is for Paula. Jose doesn't need a woman, right? So why don't you forget about the dud and get with the stud? Yeah. Uh, I might reconsider that one. You know, actually, I think that all you men up there are whoremongers to begin with. And for the rest of you women who put up with this kind of thing, you need to get a little bit more self-esteem. For this young lady sitting here, this was your friend. There was what? no reason. There was no reason why you should have done. Friend. There was no reason what you that I you did what, what you did to her. Wrong. Okay. All right. That was trifling. That was bad. That was bad. Jerry, I just want to know for shorty do I right there? Is this your girlfriend? <laughs> Is this your girlfriend or your mother? What's up with that? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, hold on. Um, I have to something to say for the little ghetto Barbie right here in the black dress. Um, you said if you if you went to Las Vegas and you and you want some money, well, how come you couldn't get a better attire to come up here on Jerry Springer? So get your hair done. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jerry. How are you? All right. My question is. Everything okay? Yeah. Good. Is your my Kids are okay, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> My question is for um, her with the purple, I guess. Yes. If he take care of you so good, why can't you get a better weave? Thank you. <laughs> Jerry, um, my question is for the lady in the black with the pink blouse. Baby, don't worry about him because he gonna do what he wanna do. And you at the end, you need to get a life and stop doing what. But you, you ain't nothing but a slut. You ain't nothing but a slut. I'll be back with a final thought. Stay with us. Let me take this opportunity to thank all of you for being with us, and uh, good luck in, in trying to repair those relationships that you're trying to save. Hope it works out for you. You know, they want their exes back. Maybe it's love, maybe it's good memories, maybe it's ego, not wanting to be dumped for someone else. But it's not good sense, because even if they could get them back, it's hard to see how it could ever be permanent. Let's face it, stability in a relationship is hard to maintain, even under the best of circumstances. And that can happen only when both parties really want it.
But here we have straying partners who don't feel particularly bad about what they've done. In fact, they're continuing to sleep with their new lovers. Surely they don't seem of a mind or condition to come on home and totally commit. It's far better to move on, cut your losses, and find someone who wants to be with you instead of someone you have to force, trick, or manipulate back home. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. Oh, bro, Jerry, I'm not going to... Sorry. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. Okay, one more time, one more time, one more time. Okay, one more time, one more time. Okay. 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 Oh, bro, Sally, you don't mean no harm, but I'm here to let you know that Jerry's the bomb. Go, Jerry. From the west side. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. We're from Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. She wants to get naked on TV, but we won't let her. My guests today say they've been making a living by lying on their backs, and they love it. No! They're here to shake the sheets at clean and let their loved ones know for a certain price they can be bought. Please, please meet Chanel. Chanel says the only thing that speaks to her is a cold, hard cash. Chanel, what's going on? Well, Jerry, I'm a madam. You're a madam? Yes. And for all those that don't know what a madam is, it's basically a female pimp. I run... <laughs> yeah. I run and own my own escort agency. I have females and males that work for me. Yes. I've been doing it for about two years now. Now, I started off as a stripper, but why work for somebody when I can run and break and unbreak and make all my rules myself? It's more money in it for myself. And besides that, everybody I look at like this, everybody that is a master or a slave, I choose to be the master. I'm sure you all would choose the same thing. Now, the reason that I'm here today is because my closest friend does not know what I've been doing for the past two years off yeah. and on. And what she also doesn't know is that the father of her child is my biggest money maker. Oh. So the, the, the father of your best friend's child mm -hmm. works for you. In other words, he's a prostitute. He's my whore, yes. He's your whore. He's my whore. He is my personal whore, yes. So you send him out on... I send him out on calls. He does have regular customers. I mean, he gets checked every month, of course. I take care of everything. But at the same you time... You are a regular entrepreneur. Yes, I am, aren't I? <laughs> so, uh, okay, so this... Well, if you... If this is the father of your best friend, why would you have him do that? I mean, why not? This is your best friend. Okay, your point is what? Everybody has to get paid, don't they? I mean... He gets checked every month. She isn't complaining when we're taking trips. She isn't complaining when she's going shopping. She isn't complaining about the fact that she doesn't have to go anywhere, do anything, go to work. All she has to do is sit at home and be the prima donna that she wants to be. Why should I feel bad? If anything, she should be thanking me. Well, maybe she wants... <laughs> we'll see how much she sh thanks you when she comes out. Well, then let's um, see. Well, let's find out. Here she is, <laughs> Tiffany.
Hey, Tiffany, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, and uh, you guys, how long have you guys been friends? Oh my gosh, practically our whole life. Oh, so you've been childhood friends. Yeah. Okay, well that's great. And, uh, but you don't know why, and you're, you're pregnant? Yeah. How many months? Seven. Seven months, well good yeah. luck to you. And, uh, yeah. Now you, uh, so you don't know why you're here. Okay, well, go ahead. She, she wants to tell you something, so go ahead. Your man, just to let you know, the father of your child is my whore. I'm a madam. What? I'm a madam. Your man, the father of your child, is my whore. He works for me. Yes, he goes out and he sleeps with women. And he brings the money to me, he gets a percentage, and that's how you begin the shoes, the dress, taking the trips, getting your hair done, the makeup, jewelry, all that. Been, yeah, take care of by me. Yeah. Hold on, you're doing what with my man? You're pimping my man? Pimping the father of my kid? I'm not, I'm not a pimp, I'm a madam, there's a difference. No, I'm hold on, else. you're pimping my man, the father of my child. Yes, and your point. You're supposed to be my friend. Hold you're like up. my sister. Hold up, hold on. Let me explain something to you. Exactly. You're and the that's godmother of my child. I'm the godmother go of your child. And, and by my, my okay, and let me explain something. By my calculations, it's going to take about $125,000 altogether. It doesn't matter about the money. Nobody cares about the money. Nobody cares about the money. Well, you know what? You're what? supposed to be Obviously godmother. You you're tipping you my man. You have that dress on. What? You, your hair's being my Take the dress off. I don't care about the ball. You're tipping my man. I sure the hell in. I sure the hell in. Too much because you told me his is two inches from the ground. So, oh, yeah. oh, 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 I sure am. I sure am. Oh, you're a bitch. You're supposed I'll to be, be a pain, friend. bitch. I'll what? be a pain. Honey, bitch. hungry. something he gets checked every month and if this is the way that you feel we don't oh, have yeah, to I'm be sure friends really it doesn't make a difference money is what pays my bills not friendship and you need to think about that that's life you standing up here throwing a temper tantrum like everything is sweet let me explain something to you you wasn't you thinking about that okay? when you wasn't working you have you been working right? have you been working you know i've been, have you been you working know I've been sick. exactly You've been to my doctor's i've appointments. been taking you so where's my thank you i've been taking care of you you think I've everything you're doing is okay i've been taking you to this is okay yep this is yep. okay. It sure is. He comes home it to me sure every is. night. What if he gives every me something? Sure what if your god tells him something? Your god tells us my god tells is gonna get anything. My god tells is gonna get anything. Now what? You're a money hungry bitch. Hey, and you bitch. have my man out there. Hey bitch! Hey bitch! I'm a we'll bitch. We'll meet the father of your hey, child bitch. when we come back. Yeah. Stay I'm with us. Bitch. It's just good. Making 150 to 200 dollars an hour. At least you'll have your dignity and self-respect. Seriously, how much you make? Who <laughs> <laughs> are you? Welcome back. If you, if you just joined us, um, we've been talking here with Tiffany, right? And Tiffany comes on the show and tells her, one of her best friends, childhood friends, uh, who is pregnant uh, seven months, that the father of her uh, child-to-be is, in fact, a prostitute that works for Chanel, and uh, Chanel is a madam. So she's telling her best friend, your man is, uh, is working for me. And you have no qualms about it. You think she should thank you mm -hmm. because it's bringing money into the family. Yes, she hasn't Not had to work. She hasn't had to do anything. So. But the, her boyfriend, the man in her life, is being unfaithful every night, apparently. Well, that was by his choice. Why? That's not my fault. I didn't force him to this do it. This is your best friend. Why are you encouraging him to do it? I'm not encouraging him. I'm just supporting it. All I did was make him an offer and a more comfortable, let's say, position, and he accepted. Okay. I mean, I didn't force him to do anything. Let's bring him out. Here he is, Richard. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Hey. No, don't touch me. I don't know where your hands have been. What is wrong with you? 
Look, I love you. I'm doing it for oh, the baby. Like, uh, I'm doing it for the what baby. You're doing this for your kid. You're a whore. No. I don't see you working. You don't have a job. You need your nails done. You need your hair done. You need clothes. You need things for the baby. I don't care about this. You could be flipping burgers for all I care. I'm not going to make the money to support you and a baby and myself. There are millions of people that have kids every day. They're not male whores. Look where they live. You know what? You know what? Let me talk to you. 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 Let Mexico? me talk to Did her. Did you say it in Mexico? I didn't think so. Let me talk to her. I didn't think Trust so. Baby, Please, look, not because of you. you. I love you. I don't, I don't, if you loved me, you wouldn't be doing this. Whatever. What else am I supposed to do? Oh, come on, what do you mean, what else you're supposed to do? Man, I'm 19. I didn't graduate high school. So what? That's an excuse. Oh, don't feel sorry for him. more money now than I ever did. Everything well, you're wearing, I, I bought. Thank you. I don't care Thank about you. the money. You Obviously already you know do. that. Obviously you do. Oh, shut up. Well, then reimburse me. Reimburse me for shut everything. Shut up, bitch. You know what? I don't That's care about you. That's all you can say. That's all you can say. Hey, hey, you let me talk. I want to raise That's a family with say. you. I want to take care of my kid. I can do it this way because I make enough money. There's other ways to do it. No, there's not going to be another way that's going to make as much money as this. Oh, God. please, whatever. You know there are other things you can do. I thought you were bartending every night. What yeah. happened to that? You know, for, what the past, to the for the past three months, this is all I've been doing. She gave me the opportunity you like a year ago. You come me at night after you slept with all these whores? You know what? Them other show. girls are just bitches. I love you. <laughs> They're bitches. You love me. Uh, I love you. No, you don't. You don't love me. No, you don't love me. Look, I'm not going to stop doing this, but I know it'll have, I'll have enough money to give you everything you want. You, you know, know that I can't just leave. You know that. You know I can't just leave. That's why I'm going to take care of you and no, the baby. No, if you don't quit doing this, we're not ever going to be together. Ever. You can't expect her to stay with you if you're out sleeping every night with some other woman. And well, then I'm not going to make enough money to support all three of us. This is all you're There's capable? no other job I can get. Oh, come on. And so you, you're ready to you lose her home? and the baby? No, no I mean, I'm still going to take care no of the baby. No one's going to give you the kid if you're a prostitute. I'm making more money now than I ever made. It's not a question of money. You know, like she said, I'm a bitch, and I'm a low bitch. It's okay, but I'm handling moms because friendship doesn't pay the bills. I have all that taken care of as well. I have pay stubs, fake pay stubs, you all You ready to give things. her up? No, I'm not ready to give her up. It's a choice. She's not going to stay gonna with you. I'm not going to stop. I'm Richard, not going to stop. Richard, don't trip. Make a choice. You can buy a new bitch. You speak bitch. for it. I can't make the fight for you, but she's so not, not going to stay with you if you continue to be a prostitute. Buy a it's new that one. clear. It's you're going to lose it all. Quit. It's too much money The money's more important than being with her and your baby. Is that really what you're know. telling her? Is that love? Look at her in face and tell her you're not worth. You're, she you're knows not worth I it. love her. You know I love you, don't you? <laughs> love don't this is not real. love. Well, I didn't know what else to do in the situation I was in. You there weren't are trying to help out. To do. She'll stay with you if you stop. Will you stop or will you give her up? Nope. Shut up. <laughs> don't get mad. You choose a life with her or a life with her. No, I can't do it. You're just gonna have to accept that. <laughs> So you're just, you don't even care about your child? Yeah, I care about my child. I'm still going to send you money then. If you want to leave Ooh. me like that, you can accept this and have everything you ever wanted. I can't accept that you're a whore. Well, I don't oh. know what to tell you. Bounce, bitch. Would you like to sit over here, honey? There you go. Love it back. I'm not, I'm not like you. I don't have some limousine taking me to back and forth to work and do my hair. I've never, I've never been the mayor of Cincinnati to have somebody take oh. it. Okay. <laughs>say they've got what everyone wants for a price sex please meet Roxanne Roxanne says it's time to roll up her sleeves and take off her pants to make ends meet
Roxanne, what's going on? Well, Jerry, um, I've not had an easy life. I don't come from a wealthy family. I had yeah. my first son when I was 15. Had a baby a year ago. I'm now four months pregnant with the twins. All the men in my life have been piece of They just run off, screw me, leave me full of Why do you just... sleep with them if they're like that? Well, they fill my head with all these love lines and all these, oh, I love you and we're going to be together. And I fall for it every time. And I'm just sick of it. So it's just, they're just full of Men are just evil. They're just evil. All they're good for is just knocking women up. They're just evil. Present company accepted, of course. Yeah. Thank you. So anyway, uh, so, okay, so now that you've realized you've been in bad relationships, you're pregnant, you said, with twins. Yes. Well, good luck. Uh, yeah. yeah. And now what's, uh, now why are you here? Um, well, my mom, she's been super, she's helped me out. Um, I wasn't an easy kid coming up. I was, gave yeah. her hell back and forth. Um, she took care of my child when I was a juvenile, whatever, because I was 15 when I had yeah. him. I was young, still trying to struggle, graduating school or whatever. I graduated school, but I've been too busy giving birth to kids and worrying about bills to go to college or anything. And my mom, she's helped me out, but I'm tired of having to, of having to help her. And she has this illusion that I'm just this perfect kid. There, she thinks that I'm going to be like her and just... All the stuff, and I just need to bring back reality and let her know that I'm a hooker. I've been hooking for two months, and I love it. I get to use me in the way they've used me, and I get paid for it. And I just love it. I'm not going to stop. You're, you're four months pregnant. You admit that guys have really been mistreating you, so now you're going to be a hooker? And now I'm mistreating them and getting paid for it. Well, you're not mistreating them. You, you know, you're giving them what they want. And I get what I want and still get paid what, for What, you're it. getting money and you're putting your kids in jeopardy? Well, no, my kids aren't. It's not like I take my kids out with me. I mean, my kids are safe. Two of them are with you. Well, yeah, but, yeah. I don't think they want any company. What are you doing? Well, I'm taking, I'm doing, I'm not, I'm not like you. I don't have some limousine taking me to back and forth to work and do my hair. I've never, I've never been the mayor of Cincinnati to have somebody take oh, me. Take. <laughs> if this is reality for me, this is how I take care of my kids, how we make ends meet. I'm not rich like you. I don't have somebody waiting on me and it went all because I'm Jerry Springer. How did I become part of this show? <laughs> okay, well, you, are you telling me that if you don't have a lot of money, the only thing you're able to do is to become a hooker? Well, make a McDonald's job with no edu with no well, college degree ain't gonna take care of two kids and a rent bill and car payments and daycare. Get another and job. Two jobs, and he's gonna watch my nine month old. All right. And why are you here? To let my mother know that I'm not this innocent person that she thinks. I'm here to bring her back to reality and let her know that her daughter is a hooker. I've been doing it for two months, and if she doesn't appreciate it, and if she can't accept me for me, then she can go out the door like all the men have. <laughs> Is that how you really think about your mother? Well, I mean, my mother, she's been great. She's helped me out with the kids. Oh, okay, so why do you want to hurt her? Because, I mean, it's not to literally hurt her, but I'm taking care of me. I'm taking care of my... I mean, being nice is not going to pay my bills and put food in me in my kid's mouth. N niceness does not get that. I'm not going to be nice and be like, oh, can you pay my rent because I'm nice You can you? be nice and have a real job. Well, yeah, not, not the one that's paying. It's struggle okay. working, you All know? Right. Yeah. So now you're going to... Okay, and, and you're not worried about what your kids will think one day that mom's going to Well, I'm not, it's like I'm going to do it forever, but until I can do something different, then yeah. Let's see what mom has to say. Here she is, Mercedes. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Uh, you, uh, so you don't know why your daughter brought you here, right? No, I'm wondering why she's dressed <laughs> like that. Yeah, well, you bought you. Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, she just this is what she wore here. Um, what do you want to say to your mom? Well, mom, um, you know, I have two kids, I have twins coming, their dads aren't worth it, haven't been around. I've been the Hellraiser kid for you coming up. It's not been easy. You've helped me out tremendously, but you just have this illusion to me that I'm just this girl that wants to be like you or that you think I am, and I'm here today to let you know to bring you back to reality. That's not me, and I've been prostituting for the past two months, and I'm not going to stop. <laughs> You've been what? Prostituting, using me in the way they've used me. And I love it, I'm not gonna stop it. If you don't, if you can't take it for that, then you can go out and hit the door like everyone else has. Hit the door? Yep, hit the door, bye. Well, since you've been 13 years old, Roxanne, you have been such hell to try to raise. It has took me more money, more, more emotionally, mentally, to raise one kid, you, than it has three boys. 
And you're talking about you're going to throw your life yeah, away now like, even further? You ain't got to worry about it no more because I don't need you. I mean, yeah, until the next damn time you're in jail. Mommy! Until the next time I you don't need, need you. Money, I got enough money. Hungry. I don't need you for nothing. If I don't need you for nothing. Bye. Is this the Bye. same person that called me up? I'm hungry. That nope. I went to go pick up to Whatever. go feed you. That was no then. Coat. That was then. Thinking I had that to drive was, with my car windows then. down. That was then. This is now. I don't need you. I don't need you. Why do you call your mother when you're in need then? Because, you know what I'm saying, right now, I, I used to be able to, you know what I'm saying, because there, no, there was nobody. And I got tired of that. Now I'm, I'm the only person that can depend on myself. I know that I will always be there to do whatever I got to do. I haven't been there. Always. But it's, it's not your job. I'm tired of having to ask you. You got your own bills. You got your own kids. If it's so about. tough with all them kids and you're doing this for your kids and they have a better life, who the hell told you to have all them kids? Well, it just happened like that. Who told you to have all your kids? I took care of mine. Well, what? I well, <laughs> I never had to take some five jobs, food stamps. I took my ass back to college. Well, and I can't. How fucking do that? Shut up. Yes, my body, my body, my body. I'm to do what I want to my body. I'm to do whatever I want to do. There's more to come, Ruby. just joined us this is a tough one we're talking here with Roxanne Roxanne is uh, has a child a seven-year-old child as I understand it and a nine-month-old and and a nine-month-old and is now pregnant with twins um, and she's here to tell her mother who has you know stuck by her through all these years and helped raise her children apparently um, she's here to tell her mother that for the past two months she has been even though she's pregnant she has been a hooker and shows no remorse doesn't want to give it up, saying, that's me, it's my life, I can make the decisions. And mom is obviously horrified by the prospect. Is that fair? What do you, yeah, what do you want to say to her? You can't change this. I'm a whore, this is me, I spread my legs, it's me, my body, my babies. What you say don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. I don't need you. This is my body. I can do what I want. And obviously just throwing your whole life away. What about what when your seven-year-old comes up what with a bloody nose or a black eye because somebody told him your mama's a whore? Whatever. I just paid ten dollars last night. I ain't no cheap hoe. That's for damn sure. Ain't no cheap hoe. Oh, please. <laughs> ain't no cheap hoe. Well, you know what? I ain't like you. I can't go get financial aid because you make too much money based on your income. So I got to do what I got to do to take care of me and my kids. Oh, I'm you're doing so full of shit. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. 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 I have moved us out well, of the country. Well, move to another one. You'll follow me. I don't need you. Me. I don't because need you. you and then you want your mommy to be there. You. Oh, that's what you say, I but that ain't what you well, do. Bye, bye. When you it, ain't when, gone yet. Bye. At 13 years old, who's raised your kid, Roxanne? Whatever. Is that, at 15, can you count 15? Well, you, well, yeah, you're right. Your brother at 13 was raising your well, kid. Well, whatever. Why? You told your legs up. Why? We raising your kid. Well, whatever. Then you should have took him then. But you, get off your soft store. I'm tired of hearing that. Oh, it's me. Wah, wah, wah. I'm sick of it. Well, be sick of this. Live your life any way you choose, but anymore, don't pick up the phone. Bye. Forget the Bye. 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 Forget the Bye. You're damn sure Bye. Bye. I want to say that she is the most selfish, inconsiderate person that I've ever met in my life. I love her with all my heart. Um, there is nothing I wouldn't do for her, but I don't like her. And it's come to the point, probably should have come years earlier, because every time I've bailed her out, every time when I picked her up and she had body odor and stuff, which she, she weighed like 85 pounds, this is how she says she takes care of herself? I don't think so. And every time that I've been there, I give more time, energy, money to her and almost neglect my boys, you know, because you see what, it's like the scale's unbalanced, you know? There's not but so much. And if these are the choices she's going to make, I probably should have been mom enough to said this years ago, but I washed my hands of it. Good. I washed my hands Good. of it. And I hope that my grandbabies are okay.
Tell her that. Roxanne, I'm begging you for yourself, for your own self-respect, for your children to look at you and have respect. It doesn't matter if you're a waitress. If you're hardworking and you're decent, your kids will look up to you. They're not going to look up to a whore. It's well, not going to happen. Whatever. And whatever. I'm not going to have you. Andre's mine. He's been mine for seven months. Whatever. He won't be around you. You're willing to lose your son over whatever. it? Whatever. I'm taking care of me and my kids when I got to do. I don't need you. I don't, I don't need you. I don't need you. Well, you obviously do. She's raising your children. It sounds no, child, like you need her. Child, my child. I have my kids with me. I have mine. She took him when I was 15 and in juvenile when she took him. But she can get over that. I'm tired of hearing that sob story. Wow, cry me a well, river. Well, she's taking care of your child. Well, then so? she took that response. I didn't, I didn't ask her to do that. I didn't ask her to do that. I was 15. 15. You know, no matter what kind of demand she makes on me, it's always, well, you're supposed to. You're my mom. No matter how outrageous, how selfish, you're supposed to. You're my mom. But what the f are you supposed to do? You got Take kids. care of me and mine. What do you think I'm doing? Yeah, that's really taking care of your kids, Roxanne, well, for that kind of example. If you don't like it, then I'll, then I'll start sending them weekly holla allowance. At Maybe they can get them some. I'll let you. I'll let you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. If you have no respect for your mother, I don't know how in the world you're ever going to have respect for your own children. How are you ever going to teach them anything? They have I no have. one to look. They have no one to look up to. They're sure not they will. Yeah, I think they will be, I'm going to be prostituting all my life. No, but until I can get better things for us. Well, yes, they I are going to know that mom was a prostitute, and they're going to know how and you I'm not treated ashamed your own of it. mom. I'm not ashamed of it. Do you want your children to teach you, treat you as you're treating your mom? No, they won't, because they're going to know right. how hard I worked to make sure that we was going to. Well, be look how hard oh, your mom's look, worked. And what have I done? Whatever. That's you. This she, is me. You live and you're an honest living. What are you going to be doing? Yeah, after she went to school for her, but I can't go to school right now. I got two, I got kids. I got to worry about daycare bills, school bills, car payments, rents. Now who's whining? Whatever. That's Thank you. talk show just ooh ahs it's reality That's you are not the kids. only young lady in the world that is having Thank you. children I did it with four kids you're not yes the, I worked five at jobs 15, and I took food at stamps. 15 at 15 I don't think so how old are you now I'm 22 now you're old enough to know better we'll be back <laughs> say they love what they do and they do what they love sex for money please yeah please meet bonnie bonnie says she's putting up a roadblock to her daughter's street walking bonnie what's going on well jerry let me tell you i have an 18 year old daughter who yes. is completely out of control yeah she has numerous sex partners doesn't use protection drinks alcohol does drugs and she does everything a teenage girl isn't supposed to do and so why are you here well I recently heard that she may be a prostitute. Mm. So I went out looking to see if I could find her, and I couldn't find her anywhere. Was she always trouble? Well, she's been a problem for about four years now. Um, she wants to do what she wants to do when she wants to do it. And I'm sorry, as long as... Do you as have other children? Yes, I do. Problems with them? That mm, are comparable. Not at all. So she's been the tough one. Right. Okay. Let's uh, bring, out, bring her out. Here is your daughter, Amy. How much you make? I did not 
not raise a whore. I raised a sweet young girl who turned into who one, obviously. You. you. Obviously. How can you do this to yourself? How can you throw your life away? I do what I do, and I do it good. Amy, how can you throw, well how can you throw your life away? I'm not throwing my you life away. You are better, you're better than this. I am not this. throwing my life yes, away. You are. How are you going to sit there and say that? Multiple partners. Multiple, multiple partners. Y'all, if I sleep with multiple you, partners, I've had about you don't 60 know. partners, y'all. You don't know what's going to no. happen if you Nothing's get into a problem happen. with the wrong person. <laughs> is going to change my Amy, mind. This I'm going to do it regardless of what I you love say. You. Please don't do this to yourself. Bitch, I'll help not you. you. Not nobody I'll help you. Any Bitch, way you ain't going to stop Please. me. I love you. Back off. I love this you, Amy. Back Please. Off. Do you love your mother? Honestly, and without showing off, do you love your mother? Yeah, I love my mother. But she ain't going to stop me from Why? doing what I'm doing. Because I'll I, help you. Because I love what I, I do. Back the I love what I do, I and I do it good. Please, what do you mean Amy, you do it good? You lie down, heart. and then you take the money. No. <laughs> Not like a... Amy, please. I was told. Amy, I made my mistakes, and I paid for them. All right, so now you got a whore for a daughter. So what? But I love you. Oh. And you're better than this. Oh. Please, please stop. No, Bring it. Bring it. Okay. <laughs> no, <Nah>, that's right. <laughs> please. <laughs> Do it for me. If not for me, do it for yourself. This Why? Isn't really what I like you what want. I do no, want. Amy, it's not. You weren't even a good mother yourself. Oh. I did the best I could with what I had. Okay. You said you loved your mother. Is that true? Yeah, but who raised me okay. a lot of my just life? One, my okay. grandmother, okay. not my mother. Okay. My grandmother. So look, so look at your mother. Please. So look at your mother and you tell her. You tell her that you don't love her, that you don't care about her, and if you hurt her, it's okay. Regardless, I'm going to still do what I want to do, and I... she's not going to stop me. Nobody's going to stop me, not you, not her, not I'm God I'm not himself. trying to stop I, you. Amy, I'm always going to be your mother, I... and I'm always going to love you no matter what. So I'm, okay. I'm begging you, please don't do this. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll I'm, help you I'm going to continue to do it. I've been doing please. this since I was 14. I'm going to continue to do it. I've been doing this since I was, for the last four years. You I'm must be a wealthy woman. How $150 nah. an hour. How, how can you, oh, Amy, I love you so much, and this is killing me. Why are you doing this? Are you get, are because you, I do what I do, and are I you do Are you enjoying it. hurting me? Yeah. Are you enjoying doing this to yep. me? Do you know how much I love you? And okay, I would do anything got for you. To do with it? Sounds like a movie. I love you so much. Please don't do this. I'm going to continue Please. to do it regardless of what you say, because you ain't going to stop me. Not today. We'll be back. The madam, um, my guy, um, need a job because you help him out. For sure, for sure. Drop that number. I got you. I got you. You'd be, you'd be okay with your guy being a prostitute? Hey, long as he bringing the money in, I ain't got no problem Definitely. with it. Definitely, definitely. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. He's good.
this for you two on the end here. This is Chicago, not Arizona. Keep your legs shut. I don't need any more views of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> You Stop nasty. So they That's they why you're not a whore, because you nasty. Clothes. Sit they down. Bitch, grow yeah. some hair. Yeah. Grow some hair. Grow some hair. Remember, you're, you're a, a woman. Bus, lady. Look Sit like down. one next time, bitch. You're a woman. Look like one. Look like a real one. woman. I'm grow sorry. Some I'm a real grow woman. Some grow some hair. Grow some hair. What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Come talk. What do you have to say? Grow some hair. What? Oh, now you scared? You don't have anything to say? Grow some hair. for the guy in the gray. Your madam said that is two inches off the floor. Can we see it? This is for the uh, the bleach bomb blonde bomb there. You said you make two hundred dollars an hour. You charge him by the ton. For, is the, for the madam. You say you get them money and you pay their bills and stuff like that. Why they got all three of y'all got on $7 outfits? I do yeah. <laughs> I'll be back with a final thought. Thank you. Let me take this opportunity to thank all of you for being with us, and good luck in the decisions that you make. I hope your relationships work out, you know. On first hearing what these people want to do, we're inclined to first offer the normal argument that selling one's body for money, becoming a prostitute, is not what God intended for us. And yet, if morality was an issue with these people, they wouldn't be considering prostitution in the first place. So you then argue, hey, it's dangerous with possibilities of violence, AIDS, arrests, and the environment of drugs and crime. Why risk all this? Surely there must be better ways to make a dollar. And they answer that, yes, there are risks, but a pimp offers protection. The money's good and fast and easy. Some enjoy the sex, and their life isn't going so great now anyway, so why not give it a try? Which leaves us then with a the final argument, which is hard to deny. For most, it's a dead end with relationship-destroying and life-ruining consequences. When you talk to most prostitutes, you find that they have real problems maintaining any long-term stable relationship. They are more than likely to wind up on drugs, perhaps trouble with the law, and but for the few exceptions, they close the doors to any respectful future. Prostitute rarely looks good on a resume. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. <laughs> Good living. 
a good living, good money. Good money? Mm -hmm. Easy you, for you, you right? Consider coming to work for me? If the, if the huh? price is right. Well, then what, what price is that? I mean, I won't have to do a lot of hard work, right? No, of course. Just look handsome. Just, Just do what handsome. you do. Uh, Let the I ladies know. rub on that bald head I of think yours. the only one I'm handsome to is my mom. No, you sure about that? <laughs> now, not the way I see these ladies going crazy. You want to lick your bald head and rub the all over your Ooh. head. Come on now, you Steve. Clean, you got to clean it up. This is Steve's walk. <laughs> well, Steve, now, what, what, what can we tell them? Huh? What, what do you want to offer the ladies? All, the, all my oh, clientele? for me, I think I could get at least 10 or 20 bucks. 10 or 20 for bucks? For like a week. I tell you what, how about $200 just to walk in and say hello? Does to that me? work for you? Yeah. Man, I'm seriously going to have to consider this. its title as the worst show in the history of television. Now, incredibly, in its 13th season, here's our host, Jerry Springer. show my guests today say their days are numbered in their relationships please meet Danelle she says there's something her ex-boyfriend needs to know Danelle what is going on well my boyfriend of eight months I called him and told him that I had an abortion and I didn't and now I want to tell him that he has a four-month-old son okay so you whoa okay so you were with him for how long Eight months. Oh, oh, that's how long you, okay. And during that period of time, obviously you slept together, and then you, was he with you when you told him that you were pregnant? The um, actually, we had had a little bit of a fling while he was with his girlfriend. Oh, oh and it was during the fling that you became pregnant? Right. Okay, so you, you were with him for eight months, then you broke up. Right. And then he's got a new girlfriend. While he's got a new girlfriend, he has a fling with you. Right. A, well, a one night stand or how long was the fling? Just a one night stand. One night stand. And then you call him one day? Yes, I called him on his birthday. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you call him on his birthday and you tell him what? I told him that I found out I was pregnant and that I had an abortion. What was his reaction? He hung up on me. And why well, I guess you feel like he ought to know that he has a child. Well, he's straightened up a lot. He's got a job. He stopped drinking. And he's really good to the girlfriend he has now. So I just figured that we can get him back in our life. Oh, you want, us, you want him to come back too? Yes. Ooh. What do you think your chances of success are on that? I think pretty good. His current girlfriend has no idea about the fling. No idea. Mm. All right. Well, I'll let you uh, tell him. Here is your ex-boyfriend, uh, Josh. <laughs> Josh, welcome to the show. Hi, Jerry. How you doing? Fine, thanks. Uh, just back, uh, you two were together a while back? Yes, yes. A couple years ago, I reckon. And why did you break up? Um, just things weren't getting along. We spent too much time together, and I wasn't working. and had a, some, you know, a few issues with drinking. Yeah, you were drinking, okay. Yes. And uh, did you love her at the time? Yes, I did. Yeah. 
Have you had any communication since? Um, just one time. And when was that? Um, around last, like, the last winter. I see. Okay, well, what do you want to shoot see her because she wants to tell you something? Go ahead. Josh, do you remember whenever I called you at work on your birthday and I told you that I had an abortion? Well, I never had the abortion and you have a four month old son. <laughs> Is this a head game or no, are you screwing with me again? I'm serious. How? I mean, why? What? Don't you know what that does to somebody mentally? I've been thinking my child's dead all this time, and you're just now telling me? But you were drinking real heavy, and you weren't coming home, and you were staying out. I mean, what do you want me to do? Did you want me to keep you around for that? If you could have told me you didn't have to lie. You could have said you didn't want me to be around him because of the way I was acting, but you didn't have to tell me you killed him. I just didn't want you to be a part of his life, and... Now that you've straightened up, I want you to be back in our life. I want you back. Well, you know, I've got a girlfriend now. I know. Huh. This, this is a whole lot to take in at one time, there, Jerry. <laughs> I'll tell you that, buddy. Oh, I, I, can ima I'm, I admire how calm you are about I'm all this. Uh, that's a lot of information. You're right. Let's deal with one issue at a time. Yeah, I don't She's know. just told you you have a son. Um, React to that. Like, I mean, what's his name? When was he born? What was his birthday? <laughs> he looks just like you. <laughs> <laughs> when was his birthday? September 21st. Do you have pictures? Or? I do have pictures in the back that I, was, I wanted to give to you. Yeah, I would like to see them if that's all right. Since you're breaking all this out on me. Yeah, but I want you back in my life. I want you back in our life. Well, what's, what, what makes you think everything's going to be so much better now? Because you've changed a whole lot. I've seen the way that you are with your girlfriend now. But what makes you think it's going to be the same with you if we couldn't get along before? Why would you want to bring your kid up in the hell raising that was going on? Because you were drinking and now you don't drink anymore. Well... Like my drinking and your attitude problems will not only change everything, too, right? <sighs> I wasn't the only one at fault in the whole situation. Please. You had a little bit to play into it. Do you know how hard it is raising him by myself? Well, you, you had mine doing it for the past four months. <laughs> Listen, I really need you there. I need you there with us. Please. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to take a break now. When we come back, you're going to have to tell your girlfriend that you're now a father, okay? Oh, we'll be right back. And I went off. Well, I had an affair. <laughs> but um, I've got a four-month-old son now. Welcome back. Uh, this is a tough one. Uh, Donnell comes on the show to tell her ex-boyfriend, Josh, that, uh, in fact, he is the father of uh, a child that she had. She had originally told him uh, that she was pregnant by him, but that she had the child aborted. Now she says she wasn't telling the truth about that, that she, in fact, has a four-year-old son, a four-month-old son, I'm sorry, and uh, Josh is, in fact, the dad. What complicates this more is, Josh, you have a girlfriend now. Yes, I do. So, one, she didn't know that while you were with her, you had a fling with your ex, with Danell. No. And therefore, does obviously wouldn't know that you, ne you now are a father. How do you think she's going to react to all this? Well, she's got a very bad temper, Jerry. Um, <laughs> she ain't going to be happy. <laughs> Steve, you want to sit beside me? <laughs> <laughs> she, 
Yeah, she's not going to be happy, no. No, she has a she has a very bad temper. You know, you, very you, short fuse. You may want to take your glasses off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's one of her favorite sayings. Take sure. your glasses off. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's bring her out. Here is your girlfriend, Autumn. Hey, baby. Hey. How you doing? I'm fine. Oh, have a seat, I guess. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got something to tell you, and this is going to be kind of hard. Um, you remember when you went off there a while back, and um, last winter, and I went off? Well, I had an affair. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I've got a four-month-old son now. And so, I hate you. I'm going to kick uh, your ass. <laughs> why would you do that to me? I'm, Knowing I can't have kids. Well, why, were you, why did you take off? I told you I went you to my mother's house. How my mother's. You go and sleep with a bitch, and I go to my mother's house. Well, how do I know that? I told you that. Like I'm supposed to believe you when you run off for three days at a time. I told you if you weren't in my bed, somebody would be, and you left anyway. Oh, really? And you chose that? You chose that? Oh, that. Please. The comfort thing. That? I'm gonna show you comfort. I'm gonna. Mm. <laughs> I don't know who you're calling a bitch. You are a bitch. Oh, am I a bitch? Yeah. I'm are. a bitch. Why do you why do you do what you do? What's what's the I difference in me care going of us out? Because you're sorry, I just won't get a job. Well, I mean, you went out, you go out and do whatever it is you do, and I did. I go to work and come home. How do I know that's what all you I do? How do you know what I do? I call you from work. You run around naked 24/7. Who knows what's going on? You run around drunk 24/7. Well, at least I know what I'm doing. Evidently, you don't look at what you are doing. Well, if you love me as much as you say, you'd quit stripping full time, wouldn't you? I'm not gonna quit doing you. Well, that's the obvious. You're not gonna quit not, doing you're nothing right. for me. I have you're to not take gonna care. start. I have to take care of you. You're not gonna work. All you're gonna do is drink, drink, drink. You don't work. You don't do nothing. Well, I have to drink to put up with all this hell raising. You don't have to put up. <laughs> You say, okay, you say you love her, but what about the baby? Well, I mean, I have to be there for my child. That's part of my duty as a father. I okay, so to, you're saying you have to, right, you have to be no, there I mean, for the child. I have to step up to the plate and be responsible for my child. Once you be a man and step up to a plate, you have another child that calls you daddy, too. Well, now he's got my a son. stepbrother. <laughs> I mean... Okay, I understand you're upset that he cheated on you. What's your reaction to the fact that he is now a father of that child? I hope he has fun. That's all I can say. I, I love him, but I don't know if I can deal with that. Well, whose kid do you think is more important, mine or yours? Oh. Look, Seriously? You need not go there. Because I, I, you need not go there. Anything Listen. about my son. You know what? At least that is my baby's real daddy. <laughs> you know?
hedge going on there. I mean, you've already got three kids. You can't take care of them. How are you going to take care of an extra one? Listen, I want you to be with me. Just get rid of her and stay with me. After what you did, me I and can't your forgive son. you. Hold on. I just want to know why you're taking her word that it's your child. That might not be your child. There's, I see. That's even a possibility. <laughs> he can have a paternity test. I don't know I what's going on. She originally that? said that he's back working and not drinking, and that's why you want him back. Mm -hmm. But from what I'm hearing from her, he's not working, he's drinking, he's still doing everything you said. To <laughs> I'm, I'm working now. You are I'm working? I'm working part-time. Yeah, part-time part -time mechanic, yeah. All right, so you're, you're saying you do love Autumn. Yes, I do love Autumn. Well, talk to her. And baby, I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to accept another child in the family. You're the one I want I to be with. I can accept a child, but I can't accept that bitch. I mean, I still want to be with you. No, you didn't. Well, we if just you have did, two why? kids instead of one. If you did, then why would you cheat on me with that? Why would you strip if you love me so damn Because I have to take care of you because you don't work. Well, get another job. <laughs> This, this may sound like a crazy idea, but uh, what about you getting a job? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you really have to start taking responsibility. Right, especially when I got a child to take care of on top of another one on top of that. Now. Okay, so the reasonable answer here is, first, under any circumstances, you have to help take care of your child. Right, but I'm still going to Secondly you can't really use the child as a way to get him because if he doesn't love you that's not going to make a healthy home environment anyway well he has to help you raise the child but if he wants to be with her i'm not saying he should i'm just saying if that's who he loves that's who he loves if he didn't love me then why would he come back and sleep with me well guys Answer sometimes do things i like want to hear from you <laughs> you run off and left me alone I mean with no one. I'd never, have never cheated on I you. I told ever. you, if you weren't in the bed, somebody would be. You got to admit that you're playing with a very weak hand here. <laughs> I mean, she should have told you the truth. Right. That's true. You yeah, shouldn't have lied. Kind of screwed me up. That is clear. But you got to get your life together. Is this something? I mean, he has to work on it, <laughs> but you still love him. But oh, I, I love him, but I'm always too. going to love him. But I don't like you. Well, don't date her. Uh, <laughs> That's not the issue. The, I mean, you know. I love him, yes. And he is going to have to help take care of the baby. That's fine, but he doesn't have to help take care of her. So you can see your son as long as she's not around. Okay. We'll be back. say they just can't stop cheating. Please meet Tori. She found out a month ago that her boyfriend had an affair with another woman. Tori, what is going on? Well, Jerry, I've been with her for about five years. And a month ago, my sister told me he was cheating on me. We was all out at the bar. And I went down there and he was with her. Oh. You've been with this guy for five years? How long? You just found out that... A month ago. A month ago. But how long has the cheating been going on? Um, probably about the five years. Oh, you, oh, so the whole time you've been, been with... been with both of us. Oh. Now, she obviously knew that he was with you. Right. Now, is she a friend of yours, or was she a friend of yours? She was. She was. Yeah. And so you probably, you know, were talking about all the things that are going on, and she never said to you during that time, I never hey, even knew. How did you find out that they were cheating this time? My sister caught seeing her car at his house. Oh. Why we was out at the bars. So you go down to the bar then, and you confront who, her or him? Both of them. Oh, they're both together? Yes. And did they deny it and say, oh, we're just here having a drink? Oh, or? no, she ran out the back door. So that was a clue. Yeah. Yeah. And, what and he's, he, he admits it now. He acts like he don't even care. Like we don't even love each other. Oh, do you but still love him? But then he does. Yes, I do. You do love him? Yeah. Even if he's unfaithful to you? Right. It happened. Love. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Love well, I'll let you talk to her. Here is your supposed friend, Shelly. Why? Why? <coughs> Why not? Um, Why you know? for? I mean, well, we've been friends for... Right, well, know, friends don't years. sleep <coughs> with other friends. Right. Well, we're friends. I'm friends with him. You know, at least, you know, I well, treat him good. No more. You're not I no treat more. him good. You're not Something you don't. <laughs> well, she has been a friend of yours for, for all these years, right? <laughs> right. Well, why would you do that to a friend? I don't know. We've, um, Robert and I have been friends, um, you know, longer than we've been. We're like, it's like a good friendship thing. We can talk and we're... Has the sleep, how long <clears throat> have you been sleeping with him? Probably about four years. So the whole time this was going on? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Didn't when you you know when the girls are just out you know you're out on a Friday night just being together and and she's talking about her her romance didn't you feel at that point wow maybe you should tell her that this guy isn't really being faithful to her that you're sleeping with him uh, yes I did but you know she's no better how mm. I know no better I help him out with <clears throat> everything everything I with help what? him get his business I have to help him pay the bills help him spend what his in money. the hell are you doing help him so spend what are you after money. five years hell yeah I am. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, Tori uh, is upset with Shelly because Shelly has been sleeping with Tori's boyfriend through most of their five-year relationship. Uh, and uh, you just found out a month ago that this was going right. on. And you two had been friends. Right. And, and Shelly, you never told Tori that this is what you were doing. No. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's bring out your boyfriend here who obviously both of you have been sleeping with for the past five years, <laughs> here is Robert. <laughs> She's... <laughs> 
This is this is who you've been fighting over. I don't know why it happened, man. It's because you just won't do nothing, man. All you do. You pay your bills, I have to get your business, cell phone, and all. And I don't? That's why, man. Man, y'all, the whole time we've been together since day one, you've been I can't even be sandwiched because I don't know girl. who the hell you're sleeping with. <laughs> That's the only girl. It anybody. Yeah, I never That's cheated on a woman until you, man. That's the only woman I've ever cheated. Man, you ain't right, Tori. I ain't right. You ain't right. Look how you act, man. You're crazy, man. I ain't man. right, but I ain't why the one sleeping with, with somebody, neither. Why have you stayed with her for five years? I got a lot years. of respect for Tori. Tori's the strongest woman I ever met. She helped me start my business. She stuck by me from bitter But you're end. cheating on her. For five years, you've been cheating on her. I love her, too, man. <laughs> She's nice to me, man. She's nice to she me. She's happy to see what me. I'm, why ain't you moving on with her? Why are you still you? with me? Well, you, you live in my house. What are you talking about, honey? Uh, I've been with you for five years. So that's no longer yours. <laughs> you ain't taking nothing from me. That's why your five name years, ain't on all my years. stuff, because I, I knew you'd be like years. that about it. Hmm. Her name ain't on nothing either. I ain't you want stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smarter than that girl. You know that. So this is this is who you love. Yeah, she loves. I love that girl, man. Okay, She's does she know about a fetish that you got? No. Huh? Yes, yeah, she does. Does she? Does she? What about that? What about all that? What? You have been... <coughs> <coughs> All right, hold on. You've been sleeping with him for five years, and you, and you had no idea he wears no. women's underwear? But I'm the one to be seen with So you, you like only that. wear the women's underwear when you're with... For her. Okay, well, what do I look her. like when I go buy them, and they're big as me? Um, well. They're mine. They're this tall as me. <coughs> hey, Still man. want them. I'm really hiding this stuff anyways. <laughs> I like to she do it. For you. It makes me feel pretty, man. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel pretty, man. Y'all should try it. Yeah. Can't wait till the show's over. Uh, well, okay, so you feel pretty. That doesn't necessarily mean that you... Look pretty? I think I'm pretty. What? Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> no, it's... Actually, it's... We'll be right back. So you've been aware, you've been aware of his fetish the whole time. Day one, she's the one, the one that made me do it. He's on the couch in my dance club. Yeah, and that didn't bother you. You're Thinking still. No, so I figured I'd buy his own. Okay. And are you, what, what's your reaction to all of this now? Because you didn't um, know this. I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah. I'm shocked. I didn't know nothing about well, this. Well, see, I and... can't be free with it like her, man. She tries. Well, I mean, then what she are you doing? You. <laughs> so who do you want to be with? Tori. <laughs> I love Tori, man. She's sparky, man. I well, then why? Her. Are you... Just because of that? Are you going to you know, continue to cheat then. on her? Are you going to continue to cheat on her? Well, I don't think, I don't think Shelly will uh, put up with it. Oh, anyway. but otherwise, and that's a yes? Unless, it, what's up, Shelly? No. So you're saying if she would let you, she would, you would cheat on her? I probably would. Well, what's, what's wrong? Because Tori ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, I ain't? No, you ain't going nowhere, do girl. Know? Don't even try to play like you would. We okay. know better. I got you. Hey, you ain't got me. I got you. Yeah, well, that's all about to change. Yeah, I gotta be honest. That outfit doesn't go with your black socks. <laughs> Oh man. Oh. Okay. All of a sudden. I should have wore pink like, ones uh, then. Okay. So, what's going to happen now? Are you are you finished with him? Yes, I want to be with my boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. You now. have a boyfriend. Yes. 
Does he know? Does he know you've been cheating all these no. years with him? How long you been with your boyfriend? Five years. Oh. <laughs> Let's bring him out. Here's Kevin. You never, you never hit a man wearing a bra. Okay, uh, so what's, you had no idea. What do you want to say to your girlfriend? Uh, why the hell did you bring me to here? Did I tell you why I was sleeping with him? You're sleeping with this dude in panties? Yeah. Him? Yeah. You, how long have you been sleeping with him? Four years. Four years? But I don't want to be with him. I want to be with you. <laughs> that dude's wearing panties. You've been that sleeping with him for four years? I didn't know about that until now. <laughs> that, doesn't that make you wonder about yourself, buddy? What's that? Make, um, <laughs> wonder too, huh? oh, man. It is, ain't it? No. Hell, get away from yeah, me. Yeah, All this man, crap we've been through. Why? <laughs> why? Why? I don't know why. I guess because he talks to me and he helps me out. And... Oh, what do I do? <laughs> nothing. I don't do nothing? <laughs> you don't work. <laughs> you don't true? help me around the house as I tell you to. If there's <laughs> no jobs in our town. You know this. You don't work either. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be with you now. We were supposed to get married. <clears throat> What's all this stuff we've been through for the last... For the last six months, we're supposed to be changing our lives and, <coughs> and you know, not holding secrets back. You know, I've changed. I stay home with you and your kids every freaking night. I stay there more than you stay there with your kids. And What, when I was working? No, when you were out drinking at the bar no, all night. I haven't been out drinking for months. <coughs> no, you've been out with him. Yep. Well, I'm sitting at home with your kids. <coughs> That's great. That's great. All right. I, we got to wrap this up. What's going to happen now? Are you... Are you going to still be with her? You're uh, not going to sleep with him anymore, are you? No. Is no. that really over? I mean, I want to keep our friendship. We've been really good. Th that ain't going to happen. Or... That ain't going to happen at all. <laughs> I don't even know if I, if I want you. Well, maybe I don't want you either. Well, take the penny man and go home. What do you want to say to her? You guys can share each other's underwear. Oh, what I want to say? Yeah. I want to say, hey, I'll see you in, <laughs> in a couple <of> days. <laughs> and you? I'll see you, too. Hey, you know where I live, buddy. Oh, you know I'll be there. in the red sweat, he got two nice looking women, but uh, if she go out again, what are you gonna do? I hope I don't have no more babies. Hey, hold on. For the guy in the pink, I want him to 
know, did you take her, her bra off? Cause it looked too big. <laughs> This is for Penny Boy. If you get dressed like a woman, why don't you dress nice? That stuff is trash. Mine is also for Victoria's Secret. Is it a lot colder up there than it is down here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not a compliment. I was just thinking maybe we need to get the girl in the gray, the same thing the guy in the pink, because he's kind of jumpy and she's kind of bobby. They need to get together and maybe work things out. You suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. <laughs> yeah, comment for the ones in that corner. Sweetie, you better keep that guy there because, man, you don't know how to fight with that girl just whipped you. But good. <laughs> Yeah, Jerry, my question is for the two ladies with chicken hawk here, man. There must be some slim pickings in that town you're in. It's all how you work them, baby. I just want to say, that isn't any Victoria's Secret. That's Victoria's Nightmare. <laughs> yes, sir. For the guy in the bra, man, you know the... The gorilla at the zoo, or the gorilla keepers at the zoo are looking for him, man. Looking for him, dude. <laughs> you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. That was weak. This for the guy in the, uh, the bra. I noticed you was doing all that moving around. Is that because uh, your panties was riding up your butt? <laughs> okay. Okay, neighbor. Thank you. You knew. Uh, this is for the woman in the black. Have you found the emotional resolution, the, the, the answers that you needed here on the stage at Jerry Springer? I, I thought it... <laughs> I just have a comment for this guy right here. Everybody's being down on him and everything. Honey, I'll take you home. Is there something you want to tell us about yourself? <laughs> no. He's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I just want to know if uh, Victoria's Secret sells a pair of, pair of socks because <laughs> got a couple holes in them. <laughs> We'll be right back. Let me take this opportunity to uh, thank you all for being with us and uh, good luck in the decisions that you make regarding your relationships. You know, the rule is pretty simple here. Don't be having unprotected sex with someone with whom you're not prepared to have a baby. That's the best way to prevent the kind of problems we saw in today's show. But if you are suddenly in a situation where there is a baby in the picture, but the relationship with the one who helped you conceive the child is not that good, don't create a new problem. Surely the guy must accept responsibility for what he did, which means at least financial support. But don't let the arrival of a baby force a relationship that isn't otherwise there. A baby shouldn't be leveraged to force someone into a relationship who doesn't want to be in one. The resulting tension, resentment, and perhaps anger creates a far worse environment for the child than simply having one of the birth parents out of the house. A woman has the right to be angry at a guy who gets her pregnant and then bolts, but she shouldn't make her situation worse by forcing a relationship that he doesn't really want. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. You know, you're not exactly the best looking guy in the world, right? Nah, nah. And you got these two 
Vince. Pretty good looking girls. Yeah. I mean, I know you're from a small town. There's probably slim pickings. No, it's big. Big town. Oh, that's right. I've been there. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, these two girls are fighting over you. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? It's, it really a, it's cash, man. Women, they're all about the cash, man. What, what kind of business you got? Landscaping. Oh, okay. You make a lot of dough? Yeah. Those are nice. Well, thank you. Well, that's Todd. He, <laughs> he kind of likes the guys. Oh, I know he does. I heard all Do about Do you want his number? No, no, I'm cool. I'm cool with that. I don't like guys. I like lots, well, lots of beautiful women. He'll take women. really good care of you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we probably got something in common. He probably wears panties, too. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>